The National 14 Five-Year Plan attach great importance to the developing of the Greater Bay Area into an international innovation and technology center. And one of the key directions for this is life and health science. And Hong Kong has been designated in the National 14 Five-Year Plan to play a leading role with top-class expertise, the best international professional standards, easy access to financing and the market of the mainland, as well as a trusted legal system protecting intellectual property rights. Hong Kong is becoming home to many respected clinical research centers. This oration was inaugurated in 2019 in memory of the late Professor Chua for his unparalleled contributions to CU Medicine and Hong Kong at large. Since then, the oration has become our faculty's most prestigious event in honor of Professor Chua's legacy. We therefore invite legendary people only to deliver this oration. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed our honor and privilege to have Ms. Nisa Leung, managing partner of Chi Ming Venture Partners, to be the Jero Choi orator tonight. I think, you know, it's, it's really interesting and I wanted to share with you tonight how China evolved in biotech and healthcare in the last 20 years and where we're heading. I think a lot of people say, oh, you know, the, the stock price has been going down and this and that and, you know, it's been really difficult. But I want to tell you at the end of my, my talk tonight, hopefully, you all will believe that China has a, a very important role in the whole global value chain for biotechnology. The biopharma industry in China is approaching an inflection point which other sectors in China has reached. More innovative molecules under investigation are coming out of China biotech and filed clinical trial application. And in 2021, local players in China had more new drug applications approvals than MNCs in China for the first time.